destruction. The planet came in is struck by a meteor in the deepest parts of the galaxy. But what's this? The incredibly useful exploits of duct tape enthusiast Limbo Duxon are able to hold the planet together, preventing annihilation. The success of his duct tape mixture ushers in a new era for the people of Tapian, one that revolutionizes architecture, agriculture, and even arts and crafts. Now, reveling in the amazement of this incredible super material, Tapian wishes to spread its duct tape culture with the rest of the galaxy. Hello, Earth children, and welcome to the planet Tapian. I'm your host, Flimbo Doctan. You know, it isn't all fun and games being the engineer of most of a planet's technology. Why, ever since I was a young tapling, I always wanted to be an artist. But my father wouldn't have it, and sent me to the top tape school in the country instead. Granted, my enthusiastic exploits ended up saving Tapian kind, but I sometimes wonder what could have been had I followed my dream. I think I might just be able to craft some sort of wonderful duct tape art at this very moment. It's perfect, and here's what you'll need. First things first, you'll need a canvas. I found this one at a uh, local tapian store, oddly enough not made out of tape. But any old canvas will do. Once you have a suitable base, you can print out a picture that you would like to render as a duct tape piece of art. I picked these two stars because I think that they look very nice together. Whatever colors that you have on your design and however large they are, you must tape out around the same length as the design. Now, using your design and a very, very careful cutting utensil that you should be extra special careful with, you can begin to cut out your design. Make sure to take your time and attach all of the edges to the best of your ability. Sometimes you may need to print out multiple sheets because like you see, I'm sort of interrupting my, uh, my star here. But as most uh, plain edged objects tend to be easier to cut, we're almost done. Now, if I paid attention correctly, and I've secured my cutting utensil, I should have a relatively nice looking duct tape star. Wonderful. Now, the next step is to take your amazing canvas and cover it with your favorite color of duct tape or something you think will look well with the, uh, the design that you picked. Now you can feel free to take the design that you have cut out and place it wherever you would like. Now, I took the liberty of uh, preparing a much nicer looking duct tape uh, art that I would like to show you. This is how something might look after uh, a couple of hours of preparation and a lot of paying attention to details. Oh, it's, it's so perfect. I should hang this up right next to my picture of the chancellor and me. That'll show my father once and for all that I, Flimbo Ducton, am capable of being an artist. And if I'm being honest with myself, I, I, I guess I'll just hang it up the next time my father visits for tapes giving and see if he notices. Oh, and remember, stick to what you know, but never be afraid to try something new. This is Flimbo Ducton, signing off. Tapu, tapu.